What's up guys, welcome to a brand new video. So today we're going to be playing some Nocturne again. I haven't played Nocturne in a while actually, but he's still one of my go-to champions. The one like, I kind of find probably the most fun. Uh, definitely for a jungle standpoint anyway. So in Season 7 I'm going to be playing a lot more Nocturne on my main account and on uh, this account. Um, we're going to try and have a big impact today. But what we're actually probably going to do is go for a really heavy lethality build. Um, it's kind of like Assassin Nocturne, I guess. I don't know. I've done that further and also um, like further the attack speed build, further and the AD build. Um, but okay. But now I'm going to be doing this Thunderlord's burst build basically. When we dive in, we kind of try and one shot as much as we can. And it's really fun when it works. It's pretty like risky because I can just get one shot and die, and that would really suck. But hopefully that doesn't happen. We'll have to see. Why am I a little bit wonky today? Is that better? I don't know. Let's go with that. That's fine. So we're going to go red probably to chickens. Wait, no. This probably Krugs. No, wait. Red to chickens, I think. I'm thinking red Krugs, and I could like go chickens and do a really quick clear like that. But I think what I'm going to do is red chickens, then blue, and then early game top lane. Uh, chickens kind of hurt. So maybe I don't want to do that, honestly. Make sure we stand on the Q, of course, because otherwise uh, it kind of sucks. I'm going to smite this because that leash was like average. Not great, but okay. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to skip these because they really, really hurt. Um, and then we're going to go for we're gonna go for this and into this. One thing I'm actually going to try is uh, Cinder Hulk and Titanic Hydra on this guy. So it will sound a little bit weird. Um, it is a little bit weird, but Tank Nocturne actually works quite well, especially when you go like a Duelist Red Smite and stuff. We're not going to do it this game because I really want to play damage. And uh, yeah, I just want to like full ham kill everything. But it is actually really good. And I do want to try it because like right now, especially Titanic Hydra is way too strong. Like as an item, Titanic Hydra is ridiculously strong. It is way too strong. So if we can abuse it with Cinder Hulk, we just won't die, but we'll still have loads of base damage. And we have like way too much. But anyway, let's just not worry about that because we're not gonna play that today. And uh we're actually gonna we're gonna go top here. Because probably the Kazix is gonna counter gank, I'd assume. Here. But we have to be careful because Kazix is probably gonna come around to loop here. And I can't get on, on this guy, like, so it's gonna be really hard. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. He came really far. I'm gonna take your cannon for that. He W'd a freaking minion. He actually W'd a minion. If he W'd the GP there, we probably got a kill. So uh, that was le <laughs> less than optimal, shall we say. But uh, yeah, unlucky, I guess. He knows I'm here, by the way, because he literally just warded this. I'm 90% sure. Because he saw me top lane with the GP gank, he now knows, like, I'm pretty sure I saw him go to the top side of the map and he just warded. Bastard jukes my Q. At least I still get the bonus AD, right? After we fear this though, no armor, no magic resist. Makes it much, much easier. They are fighting top lane, so I'm actually probably going to go top and see if I can... Nice. We should push this. We should push this. That was that was well played by the, uh, the Maokai. He got his Courage of the Colossus shield right back up at the right time. So that was, that was really well played by him. Well played. He, he got the mastery back up and that actually saved his life. So Courage, OP. That's getting a nerf next patch though, if you guys didn't know that. Um, I don't know if you've seen it or not. I'm going to do a video about it on my main channel probably tomorrow or the day after. Yeah, I don't know which one, but one of those two. Friday or Saturday, I'll do a video on my main channel about it. But basically, the uh, shield, dura shield duration is down a second from 4 seconds to 3. And the shield is actually uh, cut in, uh, like it's 30% of what it is now in the base. The 5% extra you get for like nearby enemy champions is still there though. But just as a base value, like on its own, um, it's going to be a third. So now the entire thing scales with nearby champions. If you're just 1v1 on your own, instead of like a 180 shield, for example, level 18, it's like a 50 shield plus 5%. So actually base value wise, it is massively down, which is kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. God, this Dyn is getting wrecked. I'm gonna try and help her as much as I can, but Diana Yasuo is not a good like not a good lane combo. Did that come out? One of the problems with uh, Nocturne, by the way, if you guys didn't know, is you can actually see his um, passive. Oh man, leave this all on like low health. Damn. 
you can see his Q, like thing that is left on the floor, actually through the walls. So even through Fog of War as well. If it comes over the wall, obviously he's just going to see it. I'm pretty sure he knows I'm here. Why else would he just run away like that, right? That's a good guess, though, for him to guess that I'm that side, unless it's warded. Because Kha'Zix has that thing, maybe it is warded. I'll try and gank and see what I can do, but... Yes, I might just base, you know, actually. Let me go around here. Spit him. Yes, nice. I'm going for the Nami, but... No, okay, never mind. I'm going for this guy. I feared the Corky because we need to do that to go for the fight. So even though I was going to focus on Nami there, I had to fear the Corky. That's just like target section. Use my crowd control on the AD. And then, yeah, I'm in a much better spot. I'm going to actually push this in. We should push this really hard. I'm not going to take a farm, but like... We need to push so Corky doesn't get any of this farm. I don't want it. Like, I don't want the farm. I just want to make sure it gets in. Okay, now it's got up here. I don't have any jungle to farm either, so there's nothing, like, no reason not to. But basically, the quicker we get that into tower, the more CS Corky loses and the more he suffers for that gank. That's kind of why we did that. And now my red timing is going to be good, so I'm going to be back up here. Let's aim this towards the blue buff to see if Kha'Zix is there, which he should be. He's right there. Going to ward to make sure I can't take his thing, I guess. And then let's go for this. I'm going to use my E because I know Kha'Zix warded this and then ran away. I'm pretty safe here, I think. I'm going to stay on the top side though like this and then if he comes on me I'm going to flash away. So at least I have a, like something prepared right just in case. Dinah looks like she's fighting this guy like hardcore though. Oh, GP. That was really unfortunate the GPL just won that. going to get here for experience. I'm not going to push. Just experience. I'll naturally push a little bit with my passive obviously the AOE. Bollocks. But I'm going to try and get away from the other minions so it doesn't hit that many. I don't really want to push it and screw Dino over. I just want to last hit and get the experience for now. The blue. I'm almost level 6 and then I can use that. Probably use it bot lane because they use all their summoners. Okay. So this probably is not warded because Nami is not in lane yet, right? What who what AD goes and wards Tribush when he's alone? Pretty much no AD. But that doesn't okay. Actually might get this. Nice. Tom cut her off, which was really good there. So we got that. I'm gonna go back and actually buy Warhammer now. You know? And then I'll, I'll have some cooldown reduction to use my thing. Obviously it's not my perfect not ten page because I like to have some cooldown reduction, but Never mind. So let's get blue buff now. Go back, get warrior. Darn, let's not be a pussy. Let's get the warrior. And we'll get control ward as well and run back out now. And go. Oh, okay. Can I just took my blue here? I have my ult though, so Kha'Zix looks like he was walking down there. If you saw by his movement, he looked like he was walking down. Okay, he's actually going for this. I really want to fight this, but I can't necessarily do it while Kha'Zix is right there. Especially when Dyn is low anyway. If she hit a Q, we could probably go, but... Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. I'm using my spell shield here to block something, but I'm just going to flash out so I don't die. I, I might probably didn't have to do that, to be honest, but better safe than sorry to flash out like that. I'm going to die. Okay. Yeah, this we can farm, I think, still, maybe. Actually, I use my smite, right? If I had my smite for the sustain, I'd probably be okay, but... Maybe I could use the things in the river to stay a bit longer. The thing is, I'm like 200 gold off of this, right? And... Oh, yeah, he took that, my bad. I'm like 200 gold off of this, and if I get that, then I can recall after... I don't really want to recall now, then again in like two things, right? see if I can go around and snipe him with a Q. I probably can't. Where's he going to stop? He's stopping right there. I don't know if I can actually reach him. If he's paying attention, I can't kill him here. No, but what we can do is we can push this in anyway. It's a bit of gold for me, which is nice. Maybe that's enough. Not quite, but I can go and get Grom. This is a really inefficient path thing, and it sucks, but because I didn't have the health, I can really do it. I tried to get the kill on GP. Guessing there's a ward somewhere, because he knew. 
but I, I really don't want to base for that game. I worry it. Like, it's such a waste. It'd be even more inefficient to go back and then run back again. Like, it would just not work. There's no point. By the way, I'm naturally sitting a bit further away from my microphone now because I don't want to, like, shout as much. Uh, but, like, the, e the echo in this room isn't great. Until I saw the acoustics out, I kind of want to, like, speak a bit softer so that I don't uh, echo as much. Uh, but that might mean I'm a bit quiet. So if I am, you guys just have to tell me. Nice, well played. That was really, that was really well played. Oh, she actually might get out of that as well. Don't greed for it, just leave. Unfortunate. That was, uh... That was unlucky, but she has a red buff. He has a red buff, sorry. So if I go bot lane now, I can probably... If I go uh, bot lane now, I can probably do something, maybe. Oh, okay. Vayne's definitely think dead. Nope, maybe not, actually. Corky, this is probably all warded, but if it's not, Yasuo is going to run back to lane. I'm going to kill him. I'd assume it's warded though. So what we'll do is we'll get this. We'll see if bot lane reacts to us. If if bot lane reacts, then I know it's warded, right? If bot lane doesn't react and they're still very aggressive, then it probably means it's not warded. In which case, I'm fine. They're still pushing very heavily, so he's got no man to even jump away here. Oh, that's a Kha'Zix, though. Oh, nice dodge. Don't think that really gets us anything, though. That was nicely played, but... Uh, we got both Corky sums there, so... That's why it went wrong, because Corky flashed and he healed. If he, didn't, if he hadn't done that, it would have been fine. We'll base. We'll water red first. We'll base, get boots, and then we'll go for this. Corky's rushing Infinity are just really strange. I've seen two Corky builds that do really well at the moment, like actually really good. And that Gunblade Rush and Trinity Force Rush. I have not seen a crit rush. Cor this guy's red buff, you cannot win that. Surely you can't win that. If he wins that, uh, it's legit disgusting. What the? What? Are you serious? I guess Corky had no mana, right? But red is disgusting. That tarn base damage is d just dirty, I guess, with his W. It's not cool. Not cool. Okay, so we just make better use of our ultimate, I guess, maybe. Let's see if we can kill him. Okay, maybe I don't Whoa, holy moly. She's still alive? Holy, I thought she was dead. Actually thought she was dead there. My bad. That's my bad. I could have maybe gone and helped a little bit. I mean, there was a GPL, right? So I couldn't really help, but... Yeah, even so. Okay, I think his red buff's up. Because uh, my blue's up again. So what I'm going to do is probably go and try and kill him. He's really low. If he, if I don't kill him, I at least take his buff, right? Maybe. GPL's down. There's no... There is a TP, I guess, but... He's unlikely to... He's just going to run at me, right? Rather than that, so... Don't think... I'm in that much danger. Okay, it's actually not up yet. Okay. That's unfortunate a little bit, but whoa, what the hell? <laughs> okay. Okay, that's not that's not broken or anything, right? Pretty sure even if Yasuo turns up here we kill them, so that's pretty ridiculous. Okay, here he is. Oh my god, I feared a minion. I think I feared a minion. Oh my god, I think I feared a minion. Just spell shielded that, by the way. It looked like I just completely... Uh, it looked like I, yeah, kind of bugged on me, but I just spell shielded the Q and I was fine. We'll play it easy. So we absolutely crushed that so bad. I the Part of the reason we crushed it so hard was because uh, Nocturne's AoE damage, but... Um, Maokai's AoE damage as well. My passive, my Q, and uh, yeah, my passive, my Q plus Maokai's AoE damage. So I uh, deliberately used my Q on the Kha'Zix and the GP, and then um, used like I think my passive might hit both. I didn't obviously plan that, but I think it might hit both. And Maokai's AoE damage. We just completely like ruined that. 
to start with. So Edge of Night is actually a really good item to rush if there's any kind of AP on the enemy team. But there's like legit no AP apart from Corky on their team. Like Corky is actually really heavy AP. He actually does a lot of AP, but um, I'm not going to build a Edge of Night just for the enemy AD carry, you know? How does that happen? How does that happen? Who knows? Um, but yeah, so I'm not really going to build it for that. I actually really like it because what you do is you put the Edge of Night on, you put the Spell Shield on, and uh, as you fly in, like, no crowd control or anything can stop you. I might even do it anyway, you know, just because it's really good against Yasuo Q or Nami Bubble or any kind of crowd control. Like, it's actually really good. So I might do it anyway because it's actually pretty cool, and Triple Lethality with Dust Blade would be sick. But it's, it's one of those things where the magic resist is kind of wasted, right? Though it kind of actually blocks a lot of Corky's damage, so maybe it's not wasted. It's only one MR item. I'm going to need some kind of magic resist to deal with Corky anyway in my build eventually. Why not Edge of Night, right? Maybe I don't want to do it that early, though. Okay, that was a bit weird, because... Yeah, that was a really weird played... Like, weirdly played fight there, but I won it, I guess, right? That's what matters. Okay, I should probably push mid there because everyone he went top. Or I should have Rome the bot to defend the tower. Don't think they win that, no. This I don't know if she's like troll no. Okay. I mean she's actually playing pretty well, but some of these fights she's doing really poorly on. Okay, I'm gonna the Vayne if I'm watching the minimap right now, Vayne is right there. That she does use a bubble as well to get out of this. He's not getting away this time, so that's both dead now. It should be. Nice. We should get the tower for that as well. Which is good. Let's get this tower. And we should be good for this game now. We have the dragon as well. We've man managed to actually roam around and do quite a lot, but our laners are pretty competent in this game, I'd say. Like, they're pretty good. We have a Diana who's like, nah, half and half. Like, she's a bit of a dumbass, but she's like getting kills at the same time. Like, she gets ganked and she kills them, right? One of them. So that's a good thing. I'm happy with that. I'm not going to complain about that at all. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, Vayne's doing pretty well. I mean, we gave her those kills, so she should, right? But it's doing pretty well out of that. And then Tom seems to be doing pretty well. Our uh, Maokai's really good. Maokai's 4 and 3. His score doesn't look very good. But he's actually played really well, I think, so far. Just taking my smite total, which will be that. Let's go back and buy. So we'll go Ghost Spade and probably uh, Ghost Spade into more lethality. Just why not? But we'll go probably for like a Dust Spade next on Edge of Night, actually. Oh, we could just get Edge of Night, actually, you know. I mean, we can't afford it. To drop. Right, yeah, right. We could actually get it if we sold a refillable, which is not normally optimal, but. I'm actually going to do it because I really want to show it off this game and I feel like it's actually not that bad. It's going to block Corky stuff. It'll block like Nami Bubble or Nami uh, Wave. Like it's going to block crowd control. That The shield part is actually what I'm buying it for. Like the damage, lethality, 60 AD is the same as Ghost Spade. So it's actually a lot of damage still. I don't actually don't lose any damage by building this over Ghost Spade. Which seems a bit weird really. The only thing I lose is... Do I lose cooldown reduction actually? I think they're both 10%, right? No, I lose ten I lose cooldown reduction, but I've already got the cooldown reduction part of Ghost Spade, so I'm actually not losing it. I'm almost in range. I'm just looking at the minimap here. That's a really long range, holy. I haven't used it yet because I haven't had time as I was running. I should have used it really, but... Now I'm gonna use it because apparently someone's here. So this is what it looks like. You go if you're don't if you're in combat or whatever, it's not gonna work. You can only use it before. But for example, if I had this on, right, Nami can't bubble me. So I actually wasted my flash there because I didn't think of putting the edge of light on uh, just before. Which is pretty dumb, to be honest, because I literally bought this to show you guys how it works. I used my spell shield too early that I have in my kit already. But this is so good because I dive in, I block the first crowd control that might hit me that I don't have time to really react to uh, with my W. And then I use the W to the one that I can see and can react to. I'm going to give this to Vayne because I'm nice. She should probably have taken that before. 
She's pretty strong, so I don't mind giving it to her. And honestly, I don't really care about red buff because I'm only going to be auto attack someone like once, maybe twice, before I kill them. So it's not really that big of a deal. That Corky skin is so cool. I love that skin. It's actually really good. I don't really need to be taking more damage than I might have to here. Let's just get the tower. Stand on the AD, of course. We have 300 AD on this thing, which is absolutely ridiculous. You wonder why I'm able to one-shot people like that. Just use my spell shield there to block Kazix's Q. Activate my Edge of Night. If I don't take damage, it will activate, which it is now. This lasts for a good time, I think, actually. Was it 15 seconds? 10 seconds at last, so... I'm waiting here. I've got my ultimate, but... Like, Maokai is not here yet, so we have to wait for the Maokai for now. Okay. Uh, so we're actually gonna go back and get our ghost spade now. I think which will be even more damage, which will be great We probably should get like cooldown reduction boots or something But like I think I don't think it matters too much this game. I'm just gonna get more damage uh, Let's go and just keep our farm up a little bit. My, my farm's not great, but it's okay this game <laughs> Don't know if I have to complain about my farm when I'm 7 and 0, but Yeah, who knows But this is the good thing is um I'm playing a lot more on my main account and or like my Philo account. I'm trying to get it back to uh, Diamond. I haven't played on it very much. I've only played 20 games or something, but I'm plat 2, almost back to Diamond now. And um, I'm playing like well off stream or on stream even sometimes I play on stream. And I've been playing really bad when I record. So I'm trying to talk a bit less this game. If you haven't noticed, I'm trying to talk a bit less. I'm just trying to focus a lot more and it seems to be paying off a bit. So. Hopefully this is what I'm going to do because I think like I can make a play and then explain the play afterwards, right? Like I don't have to, if I'm feeding, you're not going to learn as much. So if I play well and focus on that first, then I can explain the play that I made afterwards, right? That's kind of how I want to think about it more now. And I think that's try what I'm going to try and do a bit. Anyway, let's see what we can do. So I've got nothing really to do with the map now. I can't really go for these guys that are a bit too far pushed. So I'm going to go and take the blue because I know it just spawned. I'm going to ward here because uh, they've seen me now, so Kha'Zix could easily come and if I need to fight him, I can fight him, but only if I see him first, right? If he gets to jump on me, I'm probably going to die, so I'm going to go as long as I do that first. Like, oh, I can actually go on this now, though. This will be a pretty good fight, I think, and I'm almost in range. So edge of night time. Here we go, edge of night, and we're going to go on this. I think I might have just used my W out of habit in sneers I landed to block the Nami thing on my edge of night was still going. So I think I might have misplayed that a little bit, I'm not sure. But that's the general idea. I think the Nami wave would have used my edge of night because I did fly through it, right? But I wonder if I'm able to be targeted while I'm flying like that. I don't think I can be stopped, so I don't know if it absorbs the shield or not actually. That's an interaction I don't know. Maybe you can comment down below if you if you actually know whether it does or not. Or watch it back and let me know because I'm or tweet me and let me know I guess um, but yeah that's the interaction I definitely don't know but if I'd imagine I can't be stopped like that but then after I land but it might use my spell shield up I don't know either way if I did get hit by anything when I landed it wouldn't matter because I have the edge of night which is a really good thing on this I know it's kind of overkill with double uh, yeah, we double this, but I personally think it's majorly worth. I'm gonna get that double attack speed now. We're actually losing that quite hard. So. Let's get this real quick. Might be able to move in here. I don't know. Got my ult in five seconds, but probably not worth the risk, honestly. They might Baron off of that though. They are right next to Baron, so. They, I, I would imagine they're going to Baron off of this. Proc my... Nope, okay, never mind. Just procking that and then we're going to go. Nice. See how much burst we have though, which is pretty disgusting. Uh, considering the lethality is supposed... Like this Edge of Night is supposed to be like a hybrid between a defensive and offensive item, right? 
but I'm still managing to uh, do this much damage. It doesn't really make much sense. I'm not going to complain, obviously, but, you know, it doesn't really make sense. Okay, so we should really get this, I think. One, it gets our flash up because it's summoner spell cooldown by 10%, which is kind of nice. Um, but it means that we get... Yeah, I don't know. I don't really have the money to buy more lethality or anything, and we do need some cooldown reduction. We're only on 20%. I really like to be on 30 or 40% by now. Uh, runes would help with 10% at least. I normally take 10% from my blues, really. So the fact I don't have that is just because I'm on my Smurf account. I don't have it. I would run re cooldown reduction blues though, because I think it's really good. Okay, also in 20 seconds, because this is the point. Like now, it's on nine second cooldown. With more cooldown reduction, it'd be even, even better. Rank three, it's gonna be even better as well. Don't know if Dino wins that or not. You know, probably, but maybe not. So I'm gonna run up here with my Ghost Bay just in case. Tried to kill still that. I don't know if I should have though, because she might have raged at me for that. But I'd have found that funny. I th I'm sure you guys would appreciate that, right? If I managed to steal that kill. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Oh man. Trying to keep a half an ear off on my ear because then I can I don't shout in the house as much because I'm pretty loud when I'm recording. I'm obviously used to being in my, on my own in the house, right? So obviously I don't have a volume. I just shout as loud as I like when I record. But now if there's other people in the house. I'm like sleeping and stuff. Okay, let's just farm a bit more. Uh, we'll get a dust spade soon, hopefully. Then the burst really is going to be insane. 1600. I mean, the thing is, like, their uh, jungler is AFK, so doesn't even really matter, does it? Ideally, I'd prefer to have um, thingy here. Time to take this, not me, because I'm full damage. I don't really. Whoa, that burst. A bit more gold. Kind of want to get the triple lethality just so I can like see how much the dust play mark does when I fly in because that's pretty ridiculous. I think that would be so much fun. So let's try and get lethality quickly and then we'll see. All right, and I have rank three ults. That's even more damage as well. Even more damage. See if I can one-shot someone. Unfortunately, like I don't have my last item, which will probably be a last whisper at this point. 400 AD without my Q. Uh, need some kind of arm penetration, really. I mean, I'm not, I know they're not really building armor, but everybody has base armor and stuff, right? So, personally, I prefer to have that. I'm going to actually ghost raid here because I don't want them to engage and kill them before I'm able to do it. Now, that seems a bit unfair, right? Level 12 Kha'Zix. If I use my ult and one-shot him... I didn't use my Edge of Night there. Maybe I should have actually. Thank you for spitting me. Ah, uh, spitting me. Whoa, lag. Am I lagging? I lagged for a second there, but I'm good now, I think. I don't know what it was about being spat out there. It just seemed to lag my computer. Otherwise, I don't know. Maybe it wasn't just that, but who knows. Okay, nice. We can end the game now. Only GP alive. Can't get the towers when, uh, nice. Good job, Vayne. It's kind of crazy. When I'm standing on my thing, I have 450 AD, which is ridiculous. There's so much AD. Well, that would have been a much better... Let's just do this so we get even more attack speed. Look how fast we are. Lovely. We actually didn't even... die that game. Wow. That doesn't happen very often on this channel, does it? I'm known more as like a feeder on this channel, let's be honest. I play well off off stream and off my channel, but when I'm playing on this channel, I feed my ass off. S minus. S minus, I'm 10 0 6 with 150 farm and most gold on my team apart from the vein, which we got the same. Holy moly, what do I have to do for an S or an S plus, right? Damage wise, not that bad, but we're an assassin. We're not really like a damage topping champ. We don't have any AoE really. Or anything, so that's not too bad, actually. Pretty good. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
Uh, let me know what you think, and I hope you guys enjoy watching Nocturne because I really enjoy playing him. I'm gonna try some different builds and stuff, but this is definitely the build I think is really good at the moment. Bit hit and miss because when you get ahead, you just demolish like this and one shot everybody. When you get behind, you just kind of die really easily. So it's it's good and bad. But I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll catch you in tomorrow's episode.